Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Q&A. You guys left all of your questions over on Instagram. And I just totally realized that you can leave your questions here on YouTube now that we have comments. So I'll keep that in mind for next time. Or if you have a question, leave it down below for the next Q&A. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into the questions. Your life and house seems so put together. How do you do it? I think that's very, very nice of you to say. Thank you so much. I, as a person, can't function very well as far as like my anxiousness or my mood or getting work done if my space is a mess. So I really have to work on keeping the house clean, keeping the space clean. It's a lot of work and it stresses me out sometimes and it's something I'm working on because it really does get to me so much. So I'm trying to just embrace the mess a little bit more, but it's hard. Are you seeing results using your bike? So I absolutely love my mixed bike. My body responds really well to cardio, so I definitely see results when I do cardio and the fact that I have my bike right here to be able to exercise, and get my body moving whenever I want is very, very helpful. So yes, I do think I've seen results with my bike. How did you keep Jax entertained without TV before Quinn? It is a lot trying to keep your kids entertained and I honestly just talked about this on Instagram kind of recently how when I had Jackson I felt like I constantly had to keep him entertained especially when he was a lot younger like every minute of every day I felt like I had to be stimulating him and entertaining him and just like catering to him and when you do that you get so burned out you run out of ideas you don't take care of yourself and I've realized now that I have Quinn and seeing them play independently together they play so well together they play better together when I'm not around it gets messy but they play so well together but anyways what I'm trying to say is when I saw them playing independently so well I realized how good it is for them even without a sibling independent play and letting your kid use their imagination and just explore on their own as long as you're nearby is so important so I think that's what I've really been trying to tell myself a lot more lately there's a lot more mess but there's so much play and there's more time for me you can only use one mascara eyebrows or lip I would probably do brows I feel like you can make them look natural enough if you don't have anything else on and still like look put together what's your biggest dream goal right now our biggest dream goal right now is to get our backyard done. It's probably going to be next year, but we definitely want the landscaping, the pool. We want our house to be complete, and that's really like the last part. So that's our dream goal. That is what we have been working hard towards, and that's what we have been saving for as well. How do you balance working on social media and being on your phone with life and the family? This has been hard for me. I did a video recently, it was a day in the life of a work from home mom, so you can kind of see how I get it all done. I try and get all of my work done from the morning until the kids wake up from their naps. That way, the late afternoon and my evenings with Matt are like work free. I want to treat this as like a nine to five job and respect my time and respect my family because it is hard to unplug. And something I want to get better about is like just not being on my phone really at all in the evenings, but it's kind of hard. When Matt was in BTF, how did you deal with flirty fangirls? My BF is a well-known chef, and while he does introduce me as his girlfriend, there's still the women that don't respect that. Well, kudos to you for having a famous chef to cook you all the food. That is amazing. And then secondly, I feel like a lot of the fans of... BTF were a little bit younger, like 14 and 15 year olds, and there were definitely like older ones from time to time. Matt is such just a nerd, and he, obviously he's super cute, and it's like, it was like, exciting that he's in a band to some people, but I know Matt, and I just know that he would never like even entertain the thought. I really wasn't concerned about anyone else. So it's really just about trusting your dude 
And like letting the other people do their thing. If they don't want to respect that, that's on them. But as long as you two are a good unit, then you're good. If you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? A pool to go swimming. I know I keep bringing up the pool, but a pool to go swimming would be great. Favorite emo band besides Bless the Fall, obviously. Um, my favorite emo band, if you would consider it emo, is brand new. For sure. That is my one of my all-time favorite bands ever. They're just amazing. Are you still selling your house? I not selling my house. I, maybe you have the wrong person, but we are not selling our house. Would you have done IVF if it was your best option to have a child? Um, yeah. I think we would explore all our options if we were having trouble trying to conceive, which my heart goes out to anyone who is struggling with that because I can't imagine how difficult that is. Truly, my heart goes out to you. So hang in there and I'm sending baby magic your way. Been really loving your style lately. Anywhere you get inspo from. Thank you so much. That is very, very kind of you. I feel like I'm all over the place and I think that's okay. I think what determines my style a lot is comfort. I just want to be comfortable. But then there are the days where maybe I want to dress up a little bit more and maybe comfort comes second to style, I guess. But I don't know. There isn't like one person that I really look up to for fashion. I just kind of like what I like. How do you see YouTube evolving for you? Love all your videos, by the way. Thank you. I don't know. I kind of like doing it all on YouTube and I like that I can just dip my toes in a bunch of different things. I think when the kids get a little bit older, they're probably not going to want to be in my videos and I would never ever force them to be in my videos. So as far as evolving goes, it probably might move a little bit away from so much motherhood and maybe more lifestyle, it's going to be a little bit weird to find that balance. But yeah, right now it's very motherhood based and I just, I love that because I have memories, so many memories of my kids from them being born to now and it's so amazing to look back on so it's really been like such a little video scrapbook for me. Are you going to vlog your Disney trip? I think I'm going to, but I also don't want to take away from the moment too much, so I'm going to have to balance that out a bit, but I do want to vlog it because I want to be able to look back on that time because I know it's going to be so special, like I could literally just cry thinking about seeing the kids' faces in Disneyland and just like experiencing everything for the first time, so gotta figure out how to balance that. Which T. Swift album is your favorite? I think Red is my favorite, which is why I'm so excited for November for Taylor's version of it and all of like, what is it, 30 songs and then like the 10, 11 minute version of All Too Well, I'm going to lose it. All Too Well is probably my favorite Taylor Swift song and I feel like Red really got me through some boy troubles when that album was out. Like, oh my goodness, the songs on that album. It really got me through, for real. Recommended activities for toddler outdoor time in Arizona summer. None. Don't go outside in the summer. <laughs> no, it really, it's just so hot. Like, if you're going to do anything, do it early morning. Even if it's the splash pad, go earlier mornings for that. We've gone to the zoo early mornings, but like you have to get there at 6.30 or 7 and then by 9 it's already in the hundreds. So. It's kind of hard. It's really just about staying inside. Have you had to deal with friends slash family not getting vaccinated? I definitely have friends and family who are a little unsure and have not gotten vaccinated and I definitely have friends and family who have gotten vaccinated. It really is just an individual's choice on what they want to do with their bodies. As long as like you're a good friend to me or a good person in my life, that's what matters to me. Do you have any dietary restrictions like foods, beverages you have to stay away from? I don't have anything like that. I don't have any allergies that I know of or any foods that like really mess with me. So thankfully, no. When will you start decorating for the fall? Love those videos. I love those videos. I love decorating for the fall. I'm so excited. I can't even remember when I did it last year. I feel like it was very early. Like August maybe? 
I know like on YouTube or influencers, everyone does everything so early so other people get inspiration or like there might be brand deals that need to be done earlier. We want to get like the inspiration out there for when you guys want to decorate or shop or whatever. But yeah, I don't know, maybe September, but who knows, maybe when August 1st hits, I'm gonna be like putting up fall stuff. How do you make every day feel different? Do you ever feel like you're waiting for that time? Oh my goodness, it feels like Groundhog Day almost every day. And yes, there are days when I'm like, it's 9 a.m. and I'm wondering if it's bedtime yet. I think what helps is at least doing some things that I love every day that don't have to do with the kids or the house or the family, like just for me. So working out is a big thing for me. Um, reading is a big thing for me. Creating content, even like without YouTube or creating stuff for Instagram, I would feel so bored for sure. I need something for myself. So I think that really, really helps. Um, best postpartum advice going from one to two kids, age three and a newborn. Um, going from Jackson to Quinn, the first two weeks, I think I mentioned this before, was one of the hardest times of my life. I had the baby blues, I had a toddler who didn't understand the changes that were happening and he was just acting out. I had a husband who had to go back to work and it was just so hard. After two weeks it was like magic. Everything just started flowing better and I felt better. I think my baby blues had passed and Jackson was just like starting to understand like, okay, this baby is not going anywhere. I feel like the two weeks mark was when everything just got a little bit better so hang in there it is going to be hard and if it's not you're lucky and if it is it's okay you're going to be okay and that is it you guys thank you so much for all of your questions thank you so much for watching it again if you want to ask a question for the next q a you can leave it down below and i will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.